Welcome to today's video. We're going to go over six of my most anticipated books that are releasing in the second quarter of 2023. Obviously, I have many more of these, but these are just kind of the top ones that I've read. I'm not saying that I'm going to read these right away because I don't want to read just new releases, but they're kind of, if I was going to pick something up, I think I would tend to go towards these. First one, We Love to Entertain by Sarah Strohmeyer. This is a psychological thriller, which I love. Fixer Upper Home Renovation, as it says, it says it's fast paced. I love fast paced. I love psychological thrillers. I'm excited to see the home renovation aspect. But yeah, this is another really good one that sounds good. It's Only You by Chloe Light. Lise. It's the sixth one in the Bergman Brother series. This is the one, I believe, about the sister. Yeah, this is the one from the sisters aspect, which is so exciting. I have loved all of the Bergman Brothers. I think there's one before this I haven't read. I'll put the ones up here that are released before this because it's the sixth one, and I will mark which ones I read and what I rated them. I just think this is such a cute story. The characters are great. I love that they all have their own uniqueness that identifies them as them. Um, they're not all the same that each story kind of bleeds into another. I also love that you get to kind of check in with the characters from the past books. and So you get to see that development and see how they go without some big like 10 years later, you know, catch up. Um, you can actually see it happen and how they're incorporating into everybody's life. So that's always a fun. One. Never Vacation with Your Ex by Emily Wiverly and Austin Sigmund Broca. I believe that's how you say that. I'm terrible with pronouncing things. But I love that this is a romance written with a male and a female. That's what's intrigued me. I love that um, it says Forgetting Sarah Marshall Meets Crazy Stupid Love in a YA Second Chance Romance. So I love the kind of rom cominess of it. The fact that it's a YA makes me a little bit nervous, but not turned off. I'm so excited to read it. However, YA is not my thing, so it may, I'm worried that it's going to take a hit for that. But I'm going to be open. The Marriage Act by John Mars. Again, I loved the one by John Mars. Keep It in the Family is on my 2023, my 23 books in 2023 that I want to read. So I want to keep reading John Mars, and I keep saying, oh my god, I love John Mars. I've read one John Mars book. I need to read more and then I can be like dude no John Mars fantastic because I've heard that he writes really great and I've heard that he's not so I don't know if it's a consistent writing throughout or whatever but I want to read it it is another mystery thriller I'm hoping it gets that same kind of pacing as the one not necessarily the same formatting because I don't know if that would necessarily fit with this but I hope his writing is kind of similar in style and pacing and just overall the vibes that you get from it. Killers Amidst Killers, Hunting Serial Killers Operating Under the Cloak of America's Opioid Epidemic by Billy Jensen. This is a nonfiction. So I did read Empire Pain. I'm covering this up. I borrowed it from my library. I I read this last year. I borrowed it again for a book, so I have a digital copy. Um, the Secret History of the Sackler Dynasty about the opioid crisis. So I'm hoping this is kind of from a different viewpoint of that because it is a nonfiction. I loved Empire of Pain. So I'm just kind of curious to see more about that. Truly Yours or Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. I love Red Part of Your World. Love the vibes. I know it's a romance. I'm not sure if it's a rom-com romance, but I enjoyed her last romance, Part of Your World. So I'm looking for more uh, romance authors that I like and I'm excited to read her next release. Those are the six books. I, this is really short. Wait, sorry. Really pushed through those. Those are the books that I'm really looking forward to that are really seeing in the second quarter of 2023 um, that I may or may not pick up, but who I will update and let you know. You'll see those in my reading wrap up, stats, check-ins, all that stuff. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.